<clears throat> hear ye, hear ye. What? We have an announcement. <laughs> Time for a change. Time for something new. Do you see what's behind us? We got both our bikes. There's a trailer. This box that we just moved. Another bike trailer. A map. A map. An atlas. So our plan is, it's about time to leave Florida. A couple weeks. Yeah. Maybe. Soon. Soon. Very soon. <clears throat> so um, we do have to come back this summer to Florida for a wedding. So between now and then, we are going to be heading in the direction of Missouri. Why Missouri? Why say? not? <laughs> Why not? Why not? Um, <clears throat> but we got this bright idea. She got this bright idea. I did get this bright idea. To go bike camp the Katy Trail in Missouri. Um, bike packing. Bike packing. Now I used to do a lot of backpacking and I took her on one short backpacking trip a number of years ago. We did a video on that. Um, I w we wanted to go backpacking again. We have all our backpacking gear, um, but... Pistol um, is not as agile as she once was, let's be real. Her arthritis is pretty bad in her she's legs. Good. And... She's good for a couple miles a day, easy, no problems. Um, but she couldn't go on a, on a serious backpacking trip. So I thought, what if she thought, Yeah. what if we got two trailers and Pistol rode in one trailer and all the backpacking gear was in the other trailer and we went and did a, a bike trip so she started researching trails and we wanted something that was very uh, well supported um, yeah. places to camp um, trails that were good enough for pulling trailers with a dog and, and that sort of stuff lots of towns along the way so um, <clears throat> looking at a couple different ones I landed on the Katy Trail uh, the Katy Trail is about 240 miles one way we were looking at specifically rail trails because yeah. they're um, they're typically pretty good roads, and and the Katy Trail is the longest um, developed rail trail in the country. Yeah. So. Yeah. So it's uh, our intent. We don't really know our intent. Is it going to be one day? Is it going to be five days? Is it going to be ten days? Fourteen days? We don't know. I would like to do out and back. There are shuttle services on either end that can shuttle you back if you do not want to do an out and back. Um, so we're going to play it by ear. Today, though, um, we're going to show you kind of the route. Well, yeah. We don't even know if Pistol's going to like riding in a trailer yet. We have one little trailer we just got sent to us our friends Lyle and Diana Oregon yeah they bought this dog trailer for us several years ago and they shipped it to us and we told them about this bright idea yeah and so we've had pistol in it for some short little jaunts we'd never used it they bought it and then we never used it they stored it at their house and then so we've taken her on some short little jaunts I pulled around the you know the just pull around by hand for a while and she seems okay give her some green beans but there's no way to know if, how long she's gonna like riding in that thing. Cause this, this would be like, you know, some long days in the saddle. So yeah. that'll, that'll be interesting. So I'm not sure I wanna sleep in a tent anymore. That's just, I haven't done that in a long time. So today, <laughs> today, there's a lot of things happening. We have to put together this burly nomad trailer. That's gonna be, I'm going to be packing <laughs> pistol on my bike and Dave is going to be hauling our gear in this burly trailer. And today is a gear check day. So we're putting this trailer together, we're loading all our gear, and we're gonna do a out and back, I think it's 30 miles total here. So I think, I, we don't know. This, <laughs> and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna set up our tent and do all the things. So. We're in the Santos campground again, and we're gonna set up the tent. We're gonna cook food from backpacking type food, and we're gonna sleep in the tent and test all the gear out. So obviously we, we don't have room for all this stuff. Um, so right now we just got trailers sitting on the van bed and then at night we pull them out yeah. so um we're still figuring out our storage situation right we have a place to store things so i've actually stored my mountain bike and i pulled out my cross bike which is right there 
It's yeah. what I've always used to use for gravel races and cyclocross racing. And so I'm gonna use that and we're gonna store the kayak. I think so, so yeah, for I, this. I don't think go. we can have the trailers and the kayaks, so. I mean, if there's a way, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, when something comes in, something has to go out, so. Yeah, so <laughs> back to this Katy Trail, it does follow part of the Lewis and Clark Trail, and it, it follows the Missouri River a lot of the way. It does follow the Missouri River. Yeah, um, it's it's, it's um, the northern bank of the Missouri for the most part, and it's one, one end is just above um, St. Louis, and then it kind of meanders along the Missouri River, and then it cuts down, and it starts in Mockins, yeah, Mockins, Missouri, which is near St. Louis, um, and then it it goes towards Kansas City, but then it jogs down, and ends in Clinton, Missouri. Well, here's here's a map. Oop. So this is Missouri, and then so this is St. Louis, and Missouri River is along here. Mockins is in here, and so the trail follows the Missouri River, and then where's Clinton? Down here. So follows the river, and then comes down to Clinton, south of Kansas City. But we're we're actually starting in Clinton. Oh, we are. Yep. And then we're going <clears throat> to Mockins and back. Hopefully, um, we're still working out logistics. But if you go to the website, Katy Trail, K A T Y, um, you can see there's trip planners. It shows every restaurant grocery store town water source like everything along the way it's a huge widely popular trail we're gonna see a lot of people on it it's not like we're out in the middle of nowhere and um i think it's a good <clears throat> first trail to see if we're gonna like this you know i agree and it's gonna be something that typically our way of traveling is we don't like to plan we don't like to make reservations um, i don't think you have to make reservations there's a lot of places for for the trail riders to disperse camp and some campgrounds. Mm -hmm. um, but we're gonna have to do a lot more research and a lot more planning. Yeah, we're gonna have to leave <clears> our <throat> van at, in Clinton. And It um, sounds like there's a place, a secure place to leave vehicles for free when you do this. Yeah, yeah. So, so again, still working out the details, <clears throat> but I'm really excited. The, um, the trails mostly, obviously the rail trails are typically not a bunch of elevation gain. Um, they run fairly flat, mm -hmm. um, rolling. But the surface is really well ridden and it's packed limestone, so it should be fairly... I think I've read you can take a road bike on yeah. it, um, so it can't be too bad. Right. We don't want to be banging on bumpy roads with pistol getting banged around for 40 miles a day or whatever we're going to ride. We have no idea. We have never pulled heavy trailers to know how that's going to be, how slow we're actually going to go. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I mean, you don't know until you do it, right? No. If this was Which is what today is about. Yeah. So. Um, so <laughs> we just want to hop on here really quick and announce that and let you know kind of what our thoughts are. And we have no idea what route we're taking to get to Clinton, Missouri. Uh, that will just be kind of winging it as we do. Um, we'll give ourselves plenty of time. But I, I suspect, all I know is sometime in May we'll be on this trail is what I suspect. Yeah. I think so. Is that clear enough? No. Specific enough? But it's really weather dependent, so we will be watching that very closely. Um, there can be a lot of thunder showers, so we'll have to see. Nobody wants to pack up wet camping gear, but that, no. you know what? If there's not a little hardship, what kind of adventure is it, right? <laughs> mm, I used to say that. No. I like my queen size memory <laughs> foam bed. <laughs> But we've got good backpacking gear. We've got, you know, really good sleeping pads. And yeah, so maybe um, before we actually head out on the trail, we'll do kind of a gear, show you all our gear to show you what we're taking. And again, we don't know what we should be taking, what we shouldn't be taking. We're just basing this on backpacking in general. Well, the thing so is with, with, with this bikepacking, you can take a little more than you would because you're not carrying on your back. You can, you know, maybe be a little more luxurious in what you take. Like we're we're picking up um, some uh, lightweight, inexpensive. They're like less than twenty bucks, but they're lightweight chairs that put together. I wouldn't take those backpack. Backpack. No. We have little inflatable cushions, and you sit on the ground. But I just want to be able to enjoy the trip and have a chair to sit in and yeah, place to store some six packs of. Oh, you're packing that. I'm not packing that. <laughs> I'm packing water. I want, I want enough water. Uh, let's get this trailer together. Okay. <clears throat>
Okay, here's the doggy trailer. Doggy ride. She's gonna be riding in style. She's still in bed this morning though. We got her nice fluffy bed. Um, we do have a waterproof cover for it underneath here and a nice heavy piece of foam. Um, so she doesn't get beat to death on the road. <laughs> what do you think? I was thinking she could carry her food in this back pocket here, but I don't think she could handle having her food right next to her all day long. Yeah, I, that would be hard. What's she, she gonna carry? Um. Oh, we'll fill it up, I'm sure. Why don't we bring all our gear out and see what's going where in the burly. Everything fit. I mean, we do have the tail bags also for a bike set are full of other things. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of personal stuff. Yeah. Kind of access all the time, but um, I just threw it all in there. I have no idea if that's where it's gonna stay. I highly doubt it. I'll probably take it in and out of here a dozen times, at least before we go. And then it's gonna get rearranged during the trip. Just depends on uh, you know, how things go. But um, the basics is food. This is a lot of food for us because there's so many small towns along the way. We're just going to have food for a day or two with this. We're not going to like stock up. For, right. Like, you know, I mean, we got the essentials as you saw. Yeah, I see you ordered some <laughs> ice cream sandwiches. I've, I've never had that before. The Mountain House, I've, I've taken a lot of Mountain House food with me over the years. And yeah. I like it. So. Well, we're eating that tonight for dinner, so. Basic stuff. Uh, first aid, sleeping bag, tent, sleeping pad. Um, this is pistol sleeping bag. Pistol sleeping bag. Yeah, we have to have backpacking for three. We got a tent footprint. We've got spare tubes, bike stuff. Oh yeah, we got all kinds of repair stuff. And then, you know, rain Point gear, gear, another sleeping pad. Um, got a then, couple chairs. Yeah, we've got. Uh, we'll show you this stuff later, but yeah, we'll go through this later in depth. But so here's um, the, the tail bags. Yeah. They're actually a waterproof dry bag. <clears throat> and I just got some uh, clothes stuff up in there, but you can stuff it all the way out like Irene has hers out to here. Roll it up like a dry bag to work full. And it kind of acts as a fender on your bike also. Yeah, so let's see. A good looking bag. <clears throat> Put a lot more stuff in it. Yeah, that's it. I guess we got all the gear done. We just have to get pistol loaded, get changed, get on the trail, and we'll meet you back here next week to see how our gear check went. I'm nervous. We should be. We're kind of committed. <laughs> we just bought a trailer and a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yay, adventure. Yay, adventure. <laughs> Carry, on. Carry on. You want to go for a ride? Come on. Get in the trailer. Get in the trailer. Good girl. Good girl.